The concept of self-love, a pursuit many aspire to throughout their lives, can be challenging due to various factors. In some instances, insecurities, past mistakes, and ingrained beliefs about one's identity hinder the journey towards self-love. Even with daily affirmations, genuine self-love and acceptance might remain elusive. However, there's a fresh perspective on self-love that can prove highly advantageous if grasped. When we express, I love myself, it holds a profound significance. There's a depth to this statement that goes beyond its surface. Understanding this deeper meaning can bring substantial benefits to your life. Breaking down the concept, it's essential to recognize two distinct identities, I and the self. These two entities are not interchangeable. They represent different aspects. Consider who I is. If prompted to describe I, you might likely connect it to your human form. Your perception of I is tied to the person you are. Therefore, I is distinct from the self. It is the observer, the awareness of the self. This awareness, or I, is your true essence. It's who you genuinely are. As you watch this video, you are aware of your human character. Similarly, I am aware of myself watching this video. Do you see the connection? I is consciousness, awareness. It encompasses everything. Your true identity is life itself. Therefore, the limiting thoughts, beliefs, and insecurities aren't a part of you. You are merely aware of them. While thoughts and emotions may come and go, your awareness has always been here and remains constant. Now linking this back to self-love, consider it this way. You selected this character to undergo the experiences you encounter. Consider life as a human experience. However, remember you are not the human itself. The human form is changeable and you have the power to alter its beliefs and thoughts according to your desires. This human is like a character you control. Now since this character is yours, why not treat it with love, kindness and compassion? Think of it as if you were talking to a child. When a child faces challenges, you reassure them that everything will be okay and you provide comforting words. Similarly, when a child has negative thoughts about themselves, you offer encouraging words to uplift them. Taking care of your human is essential. It belongs to you. But remember, this human is not the entirety of who you are. I'm not suggesting detachment. I'm encouraging you to recognize your true self. Discovering this I will bring you back to a state of peace and love. When you engage in self-talk, have you ever wondered who you are talking to? Take a moment to observe this process. It's you, but not the human talking to the human. Recognizing this power in talking to yourself becomes even more profound once you understand your true identity. Let's briefly go through an experience to help you grasp this concept. For now, focus on becoming aware of what you hear. Don't rush to label or identify. Simply immerse yourself in the experience of listening. Now, if I were to inquire about the one conscious of this experience, your response would be, I am. So, having a sense of being aware, turn your attention to that awareness itself. It's crucial to note that this awareness is not the self. Attempting to comprehend this mentally can be challenging, so instead of overthinking, simply immerse yourself in being aware of awareness. This awareness represents your true essence, and it has always been present. You've never departed, you've never been alone. Amidst every thought, you persist. In the face of every emotion, you endure. Even through traumatic experiences, you remain because you are the consciousness, the awareness of it all, and nothing can exist without you. You are beyond any explanation I can provide. You aren't just your thoughts, you are the observer of them. Similarly, you're not the negative emotions. You are the awareness that experiences them. The one conscious of these emotions remains unaffected by them. Self-love, stemming from this understanding, possesses immense strength and endurance. It can last you a lifetime and beyond. Embracing yourself as your own best friend is crucial because, ultimately, nobody knows you better than you do. You need to grasp that your true essence is everything, awareness itself. Our awareness is a shared experience. My awareness is not different from yours. We are all interconnected through this universal awareness. You embody everything and everyone, a divine force, a part of the universe. I understand it might be challenging to fully comprehend, but recognizing this truth can be incredibly enlightening. You are love, peace, confidence, joy, and so much more. Self-love is crucial because in the end you have yourself. It's acceptable to feel pain, but it's not acceptable to let it lead to prolonged suffering. Be gentle with yourself and recognize that you hold the key to your own suffering. No one else can make you suffer. It's just a trick of the mind. 
Your emotions are within your control unless you willingly give that control away. You have the power to shape your life and decide how you want to feel. It's all about the extent to which you permit yourself. If you're interested in delving deeper into your true self, explore self-inquiry meditations. I genuinely hope you found value in this video. Please subscribe to this channel to watch the enlightening videos. Take care, show love to yourself, stay blissful, and thank you.